guys, Wells Knight here. Welcome back to another episode from the Hermitcraft server. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. I'm having a fantastic day. I'm gonna yoink some bricks uh, from my own shop <laughs> because I need them for today's build and uh, I don't have any. So um, yeah, we're just gonna take a couple stacks from there. Uh, today, what I want to do is I want to work on the kitchen that we started working on a little bit last episode. Uh, between episodes, I did a little bit more with the floor down here. It's still not perfect. I haven't done all of it, as you can see, but I've got a decent amount uh, finished. I've got uh, this part here where the kitchen is going to go, and then this hallway that kind of wraps around all taken care of. So this is going to be our kitchen. And I think the first thing that we want to do, uh, the, the single most important part, is we want to make the hearth. And probably about there? Do we want to go even bigger than that? I mean, that's a fairly large hearth, I think. Yeah, and we don't want it to go up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This will work. Uh, this will be good. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab some deep slate walls like this. And then we're going to need our smokers. Uh, let's just put those in here. Put some of these on top. Have our chimney kind of coming out. And then, ooh, those are, here we go, I need the bricks. We'll go kind of like so. And then I'm thinking, like, do we want to do it this way? Have these smokers kind of in here like so, and then we can go like this? Have that sort of be our fire? I would really like the fire, I, I'd, I'd really like to have fire down here that's actually, like, visible. Um, and the thing is... Since we have fire tick turned off, I should just be able to do that. So maybe we go slabs like so, or do we want to do that, or do we want to go here? Hmm, maybe... I suppose the other option would be campfires. That might look a little better. Um, let's give that a try. I know I have some campfires somewhere. <laughs> uh, I have one. Okay, dang it. Uh, what's the recipe for campfires? I can never remember. Uh, okay, got it. Um... Temporarily, we're just going to dump some things in here so I can grab some sticks and some coal. And that should allow us to make one more campfire, which I will then put in my offhand so that I can still carry all of this stuff with me. Okay, good to go. Um, I think campfires will work, and I think they'll look fairly good Probably better than full-blown flames, anyway. Uh, you know what? It's probably faster to go this way, because we also have an entrance right here. So, we can do that. Yeah, that's that's much, much better. Okay, so this will be kind of our hearth. Uh, we may want to... Actually, is it possible... Like, could we do something like this to give it a little bit more of a curve? Yeah, that I like much better. Okay. And then let's grab... Oh, I actually have a crafting bench here. Do I have any chests? I do. We're going to need these anyway, so I'm just going to make a project chest right here so we can have inventory space. Uh, but what I'm thinking... Let's actually make a couple of iron bars and just put those here. And that will give us this nice little kind of cooker, hearth, uh, stove type deal, which I think looks uh, pretty good. I, I think I'm going to be quite happy with that. Uh, 
And then I actually want to grab these chiseled bookshelves because these kind of look, I, I know they're bookshelves, but also if you use your imagination, they're also kind of like countertops. Um, probably not here though. Where would our, probably here would be where we'd put that. And then let's make a cauldron. Can put that here. In fact, let's make two cauldrons. Like so. Which we will then fill with water as like little sinks. Something like that. Uh, and then over in this corner, I'm thinking let's do like just some storage stuff. So let's grab uh, a few, maybe a composter. We'll grab some barrels, some chests, and then we're going to grab these bricks so that I can make um, some of these pots, these large decorative pots, because I think these are going to look really good in this sort of, uh, you know, medieval kitchen that we're going for here. Let's, uh, maybe stack a couple of barrels like that. We'll throw maybe another pot here, maybe a chest there, and then back here, maybe another barrel and another chest. You know, just uh, some storage and stuff. I think that's good. Yeah, I think I'm good with that. Just to give us a, a sort of a stockpile of, you know, kitchen stuff. Now, every kitchen is going to need some shelves. So let's say up here, we have a big long shelf that goes all the way across. Uh, could maybe even consider, I wonder if we could do like cabinets. Like we could go... That's the center there. I have an idea. Right? So we could go like this. We could put a barrel. Some more barrels. And another barrel. Uh, we gotta put the trapdoors back. And then up here... We could put more, like so, to give us like some shelving that looks almost kind of like built in to uh, the kitchen. In fact, we might even be able to bring some of that all the way down. Is that what we want to do? No, I don't think so. I think I'm good with it how it was before. Uh, so something like this. I think that'll look good. And then... Let's grab some spruce stuff. Um, let's make just a couple of sticks and some spruce signs. And then we can go like this. Do like a little... Um, maybe just better off without the O. Maybe we just... Put the sign on there and call it good. We'll see how that looks. Uh, no, nah, I think it's better without the sign, honestly. Because the barrels already kind of have this natural little, like, handle-looking thing. So I don't think you need the signs. I think we're good just like this. Uh, and then we need to, obviously, put some stuff up there. So let's make a few flower pots. We'll put one here and one, maybe like two up here. And then a lantern here. Ooh, not hanging from there though. I want it to be sitting on the shelf. There we go. That's better. Yeah. That looks uh, pretty okay, I think. We could even hang... Ooh, we can't hang a lantern because these are on the bottom half. Okay, what if we put a lantern 
here sitting on top of that barrel. Yeah, I think I'm good with that. And then, of course, uh, we'll do maybe another barrel here. We can throw in a couple of crafting tables here. And maybe those we want to put signs on just to kind of break them up a little bit. Same goes for like the sinks here. Give us uh, a little bit more of a spruce look. Uh, not on these bookshelves, though. Just something like that. And maybe even some trap doors on top. Eh, no, I don't like that. Okay. So this is kind of this side of the kitchen. I think I'm I'm good with this. We could do a little more, like you could put more flower pots. Uh, although these are, actually, we couldn't put more flower pots there because of the way those trapdoors are. But, like, you could do more. Uh, I might put, like, some paintings up there or uh, something along those lines. But I think this is good for now. Uh, and now that we actually have a crafting bench, uh, a couple of them in the kitchen built into it as a feature, now we can do other stuff. So... Uh, I think we need a big table. I think that's going to be really important. So let's say the table is going to be probably like four... Four by five, maybe? Four by six? Probably not that big, because we're still going to want to be able to use this wall space over here. So let's go four by five. And then it's um, not perfectly centered there, but hmm. I'm just thinking maybe three by four. You know, kind of like a big old kitchen island, sort of. You know, something like this, but then we want to make it look pretty. So, you know what I should have done is I should have done this with slabs. It's fine. So we'll just go like that. And then for the legs of the table, I think we're just going to keep it really simple. And go like this. So you can see there is still support for it underneath. But, uh, and, and actually even better, grab some spruce slab or some stairs. And kind of put them like this. Just to give that... Uh, a little bit more space here. Like, you, you can see the the support structure underneath it. Make it almost look like a countertop or like a big kitchen island. I think that's good. We can put, uh, like, a little flower pot here as, like, a drink-type deal. Um, and then... Over here, we want some stuff, too. I wonder if you could do, like, a... Maybe build this up a little bit. Probably not that high. Go like here. And then we could have like some hanging uh, meat or something. Maybe, let me see if I have any nether quartz that's not, uh, but I, I don't think I do. I think I'll have to go into the nether to get some. Uh, or it would be in here, right? Yeah, all I've got is... Uh, I'm talking about the nether quartz that's, like, still in the nether rack. Like, the silk touch version. Uh, for now, we'll just grab regular nether rack. But I think the other kind would look better. Because it gives you kind of that, like, marbled uh, meat look. Which I think is quite nice. But for now, we'll just do nether rack, And we'll just kind of put that on like a little thing here, like it's drying out. And then maybe some trap doors there on the ground, kind of underneath it. And then let's put maybe another barrel. Ooh, but that'll connect. I don't want it to. Uh, let's put a barrel here. A barrel here. Maybe a large pot. 
And another large pot. Or maybe like a chest instead. In fact, we can have it kind of facing this way. And maybe we can put another part, uh, another large pot back there because that won't actually connect to the fence at all. So that could work. Uh, although I suppose the other, the other option here too that I didn't even think of uh, would be we can play with trap doors. So let's make some more spruce trap doors. And on top of this, we could go like so. I don't think that looks better. Maybe it's better without anything on top. I'm just thinking here. Because if you put it without anything on top, then it looks like this is kind of like going through. Right? Or you could do something like this as well. Just playing around. Mm. Let's leave it like this for now. We can always come back to it later. Um, or, you know what? I think I know what I want to do. We'll leave it too high. We'll do it like this. Just to get the meat up off the ground a little bit more. And kind of bring out this, uh, this color contrast. And also let you see back here a little bit better. I think that'll be good. And then maybe over here, we can have just, uh, like, some shelves. Uh, so... Here. Here. Because we want to be able to actually put stuff on these. Um, and we can just do, like, real simple... shelves like that. That should work. And that way we can put stuff on them. We can put a chest up here. We could do uh, a smaller flower pot like here. Oop. I'm breaking things that I don't want to put you back. I feel like the big pots look out of place on that shelf. It doesn't look like it would support their weight. So let's maybe do something like this, and then this could be just like a lantern to give us a little bit of light there. Or better yet, we're just going to kind of swap things around. We'll put a chest here. We'll put a lantern up here, like that, and then our two small flower pots will go here and here. Yeah, that'll work. That'll work quite nicely, I think. Okay, this is coming together. We're, we're getting somewhere. Uh, we still need to do something with this. This is very bland. Uh, so how about some more shelves? Because every kitchen needs an abundance of shelves. There we go. We don't even have to put a ton of stuff on them. We can leave a lot of these kind of empty. Uh, let's just do something like that. And then up here, we maybe put a chest. Just lots of storage uh, and stuff for our kitchen. We need a little bit more light over here as well. Let's maybe put a lantern there because we want this to be nice and lit up. And then let's actually grab some iron ingots and just make a couple of trap doors. Uh, maybe put one here. No, not there. Maybe uh, here. Just as kind of almost like pressure plate. Uh, not pressure plates. Uh, as plates. <laughs> they are pressure plates, but they're pretending to be plates for the purposes of our imagination. Um, yeah, I think that's all good. 
So if we take all of this stuff, uh, where's my ender chest? I am, it's right here. Here we go. Let me just dump a lot of this stuff into a shulker box along with these torches. Uh, we could probably leave the double chest there. Maybe grab a big pot and put it here and here. Or take out the double chest entirely. Oop. Do something like that. Uh, although I don't like having... That's a little too symmetrical. Let's put that up here instead. Yeah. Yeah, this is looking good. I like it. And then we'll take out this stuff that is just temporary. So how does this feel for our kitchen? Pretty good, I think. Like, I, I actually really like this. It's a nice little kitchen. There's a couple little minor things we can do uh, that we will. Let me go grab some tripwire hooks. In fact, actually... Do I have tripwire hooks in my redstone? No, my redstone shulker box is completely empty. Uh, oops. It's fine. Not a big deal. Uh, let me just grab... I thought I had tripwire hooks already made, but I guess not. I will also grab some paintings. Um, and maybe some chains. Maybe we can do something with those, too. I don't know. But we'll see. Uh, grab some iron ingots. And then I'm going to need some planks. So, uh, tripwire hook. Just need two. The rest of this should be fine. We're just doing the whole build, we're doing it live. Who needs video editing? Um, <laughs> it's fine. You know, we don't do, like, it's interesting because for a while there, YouTube kind of went through a phase, at least Minecraft YouTube, kind of went through a phase where, like, showing building on camera was a bad thing. You know, nobody wanted, and now it feels like it hasn't come away from that completely. Like, I still don't want to do all of my building on camera because we would never get anything done. Um... But every now and again, it's nice to just kind of build something together so you can kind of see my thought process, you know? Uh, yeah, that looks nice. I like that painting there. Um, and then maybe, I wonder, are there any paintings that look like stuff that's actually, like this could maybe work as like herbs? Oh, that might work a little better. Man, I don't definitely not the creeper. Yeah, maybe this one. And then we'll swap uh this painting out for I want the sunset. There it is. This is like my favorite painting in the entire game, by the way. Such a good painting. I wish they would do more landscapes. Uh, like, I would love to see them overhaul the paintings in Minecraft and just add a whole bunch more, especially landscapes, because they go so well with just about anything. Whereas, like, the creeper face and, like, the pig and, like, a, a bunch of the paintings are like, eh, it doesn't really fit the vibe I'm going for. Uh, okay. So that's all looking good. Um, as far as other stuff goes, what else can we add? We can maybe do some item frames, like here, and just put like some flower pots in there, like cups, right? Like, oh, these are, these are cups. They're uh, they're just chilling there. <laughs> um, I don't think there's much we can do with iron bars that we haven't already done. I mean, honestly, this is a really nice little kitchen. I like it. Uh, oh, last thing. We need plants. 
We need herbs and spices and things like that. So, let's see. Uh, I think we're going to end up going saplings. Uh, oak saplings might work as kind of a some sort of herb. Uh, maybe dark oak saplings as well. Jungle could maybe work. Birch will definitely end up using. <laughs> you can see how much birch I've done. Um, and I think that's probably it. I don't think we want to use any flowers. I'm trying to think what would go over there that would actually look like something that belongs in a kitchen. Maybe bamboo. Maybe. I don't know. I think I'm good with uh, with just using mostly oak saplings here. So we'll go like one, two, three. We'll put like a birch sapling in here and maybe there. And then like a dark oak sapling and a jungle sapling. So you've got all your herbs and spices <laughs> in the kitchen where they belong to assist in the creation of of delicious meals fit for a king. Uh, and, you know, the other thing I suppose we could do... Food. We could put actual food down. Uh, you know, like... Got a couple of full chickens here getting ready to go. Uh, we'll just rotate this one so it's facing the other way. Like that. There we go. A couple of these... Uh, chickens, maybe we can put like some apples or something like that in there later if we feel so inclined, but yeah, I think I'm good with this. There's the kitchen, and uh, guys, that is all the time that we have for today, so I am going to go ahead and wrap it up there. If you enjoyed building this kitchen together, <laughs> you know what to do. Link's in the description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, my friends, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.